Something you want to do conceptually with respect to training your dog is to try to begin with the end in mind, right? And think broadly. What is this about for me? Why am I training my dog? What am I hoping to accomplish with my dog? What are the underlying principles? What is this about, right? And um, I think trainers should ask themselves that question a lot. So what, I mean, fundamentally, what is dog training about? And a lot of people would say leadership. Um, some people whom I, I don't agree with very much would say learning and conditioning. Um, you know, you could, you could find a lot of different answers. Relational dynamics, altering the relationship between owner and dog, obedience, all decent answers besides the conditioning bullshit. But um, I would actually happy to disagree, uh, not fundamentally, but I, I think that they're incomplete answers. I actually think on a fundamental level, dog training, at least for your dog, is uh, really about two things, and they're very practical pragmatic safety and freedom okay uh 90 percent of what i do is about trying to get the dogs not to kill themselves or to hurt or god forbid kill anyone else whether it's dog person whatever um it's 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 about safety you know when i teach a dog to sit and hold their sit at, at when i stop automatically at an intersection it's so that they don't wander two feet off the curb and get run over. You know, like New York's busy. Healing is incredibly important in New York, right? If your dog's way out in front of you, you don't have control over them. And that can cause a lot of problems. Too densely populated, too much traffic. So there are tons of safety issues. You know, I think it's what, 5 million people annually get bit by dogs, rush to the emergency room. 20,000 people go to the emergency room every fucking day for dog bites. So we're training with safety in mind. And when training them, you always want to follow the rule safety first. And it's one of the reasons why I have e-callers on my own dogs way more often than they need it. Um, it's, I want to prepare for potential mistakes I might make because if there's ever a fight, that's on me. That's trainer error. But I want to be prepared for if I fuck up so that I can manage the situation better. Um, so you, you want to have a healthy paranoia when training dogs because they are animals and their safety concerns are paramount. Um, and that, that's in service of a larger goal long term, which is to get the dog more freedom. Okay. You know, freedom, it's – there's – Freedom's like like an opinion, you know. Everyone's, uh, I guess, theoretically entitled to it, but unless you put in work to gain freedom or gain an opinion, it's not that's not true freedom. That's just license. Okay, freedom is predicated upon work, discipline. You know, putting yourself in a position to accrue the benefits of more freedom because you can handle it. And that's the same, it's the exact same principle with dogs. Um, I try to stress this to every owner I work with, what I think is a great goal. I like to see them all become sort of like geekish about it and hobbyists, but I think a very attainable dog uh, goal for every owner should be to get their dog reliable with off-leash work um, so that the dog can safely be able to run around off-leash and to be able to come back when called you don't have to worry about them running around biting somebody or getting hit by a car. You can bring them to the beach, to, to cookouts, to family events. They can participate and, and not do any harm to themselves or anyone else, you know. And you have a responsibility to your wider community, too, to make sure that if you give your dog freedom, that they're not going to abuse it and hurt anyone. Um, and also that they're not going to hurt themselves because here's the – the truth is, is that they're a huge safety hazard to themselves, primarily. I mean, look, the shit out there, the human world, it's, it's tough for me to navigate. You know, I might be a little bit more simple than average, but um, it's complex. There's a lot going on. 
they don't have a fucking chance of being able to figure it out. Like, they just, they don't. Not on their own. They need really a ton, a ton, a ton of guidance. And in order to get to the level where they can handle any freedom to be able to participate in the world reliably and safely, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, but I think, I think it's their birthright. I think, they're, I think they all deserve it, you know, because they'll do the work. They'll always do the work, you know. That's the thing about dogs is <clears throat> even the stubborn ones. They'll do what you want them to do, but you, you have to relate to them on their level. And that's obviously what people, well, p people don't want to do the work, I think, primarily. But they also want to humanize the dog, so they run into communication problems. And the dog ends up living a much more limited life. And you see this all the time, by the way, with positive reinforcement only trainers, behaviorists. They end up, like Victoria Stilwell wrote an article recently, and she said, I have a, that's their term, a reactive. No, you have a dog that bites people, lady, <laughs> lunges at people in the fucking street, at strangers, for no reason. That's what you have. But she, I have a reactive dog. He had to be managed when I moved to the city recently. And it's like, <laughs> You're, what you're doing is you're only taking your dog out at night and early in the morning because there are no triggers around, meaning human beings. That's the type of fucking life your dog's going to lead if you don't properly train them through obedience training. You know, if, if they develop problems, which they're very likely to, if you don't give, provide them with discipline. Some dogs skate through life and they're easy. Very, it's a very small minority of them. It's always some ass, well, my dog isn't like that. You know, I mean, <laughs> you lucked out. Thank God. You know? Um, so anyway, put the work in, get your dog freedom, and do it safely. So that's what dog training fundamentally is about for me. And, you know, relational dynamics is right up there. Um, but I, th I like to think in terms of the larger goal, and that's ultimately to have a safe dog that has a lot of freedom. And that's a happy dog and a happy owner.